So now we will see input attribute autocomplete in input field. So guys, basically the input autocomplete attribute specifies whether a form or the input field should have autocomplete on or off. So when we say autocomplete on, when the user starts typing, he or she will be provided the list of values that was already typed by him or her previously. And when the autocomplete is off, there will be no suggestions that will be provided by the HTML form or the input field. So basically the autocomplete allows the browser to predict the value and when the user starts to type in a field, the browser should display the options to fill in the field based on the earlier typed values. So guys, basically whatever suggestions is being provided by the browser, it is the own user's value that was provided to the browser in the previous sessions. And there will be no new values that will be provided by the browser. So the autocomplete attribute works with the form and the following input types such as text, search, URL, telephone number, email, password, date pickers, range and color. So guys, let us check this with the help of examples in VS code over here. So previously we had the first name as the input field. Now what we will do is again, we will have the last name as well. So we will simply copy these lines of code and paste it after the first name input field. And then over here, we will say L name in this case, which will stand for last name over here. So we say last name and then we will again copy the L name value to the name attribute and the ID attribute as well. So guys, basically we will ask the user to provide the first name and the last name as well. And we had also provided the drop down list item with the help of the input tag and the data list tag over here. So we will keep those options as it is. So let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser. So as you can see, we have the first name and last name over here. Apart from this, we also have the drop down list in this case now guys by default the autocomplete will be on for this input type that is text over here so if we simply go to the first name input field over here and click on this text box as you can see john and programming these were some of the values that i had provided previously to the text boxes and for the last name as well as you can see we have beginners and do that was provided to the last name input field that we had seen in the previous examples so guys these are the autocomplete suggestions that we can see now guys what if you don't want to see the autocomplete suggestions over here so simply we can come to this last name in this case the input field and then after this, we can have the autocomplete attribute. So as you can see, this is the attribute that we are going to use. And then this should be off in this case. So when we say autocomplete is off, then the browser will not provide any suggestions to the user for this particular input field. So guys, let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. Now, if we go and click on this last name over here, as you can see, there is no suggestions that is being provided in this case. And if we click on the first name input field, we can still see the suggestions. That's because by default, the autocomplete is on over here. So again, we can provide provide the autocomplete attribute and we can provide the value as off in order to turn off the suggestions. So let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So now if we go and click on this input field, there are no suggestions that is being displayed by the browser. So guys, this is the way that we can provide the autocomplete or the auto suggestion feature to the user. And based on the browser history of the user, the suggestions will be provided by the browser to the user. So now over here, we have kept the autocomplete on for the first input field that is F name over here. And let me just reload this page once again on the browser. So now if we come and click on this input field, so now we are able to see the values as the suggestions by the browser. So guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is input attribute form in input field. So stay tuned.